Hey guys, welcome to Feast in the Middle East. I am Blanche and I have a very special secret recipe to share with you today. A lot of you uh, were so taken with Samer from Beit Rima when I shot that video in his restaurant. He was kind enough to share with me his secret recipe for mahalabiya, which is a very popular recipe in the Levant, in Palestine, Lebanon, and Syria. It's like a rice pudding, but instead of rice, it uses rice flour. So I need to get rice flour from the store along with a couple of other things. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make. I'm really excited because I haven't had this dessert since my Aunt Bahia made it for me when I was a kid. So let's get started. This is what we need. We need the white rice flour instead of rice because this is going to be a pudding with a silky texture, reminiscent of rice pudding, but without the actual grains of rice. So white rice flour is what we need right here. As far as sweeteners go, of course, sugar is traditionally used, but if you want a sugar-free alternative, there are so many good ones now on the market. I love the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, and I also love the allulose sweetener. So I'm gonna pick the allulose this time because I know it doesn't raise glycemic index as much. Now we need milk for the base of this pudding. Now as far as the milk, I really like Clover brand, organic whole milk. You don't want to skimp on this. It'll be a really anemic pudding if you use a low, low fat variety. Um, and if you want to use lactose free, that's fine too. But this is a great brand milk and that's what I'm gonna use. All right, to get started, we're gonna pour a half a gallon of whole milk into a large saucepan, reserving a half a cup to make a cornstarch slurry, which I'll show you how to make in a moment. The slurry is to make the pudding thicker. To the milk, add a half a cup of sugar or a half a cup sugar-free allulose, which is what I'm using here. Then add a half a cup of the rice flour, which you saw I got earlier. And then a half a teaspoon of Arabic gum, which will thicken the pudding and add an authentic flavor. I also added two cardamom pods. Now you can add much more if you want a heavier cardamom flavor. Now let's get back to that half cup milk that we had from earlier to make the slurry. That's a half a cup of cornstarch, which I'm going to combine before adding it to the rest of the milk. This ensures that there are no lumps and bumps in your pudding. Now I'm using a spoon, keeping it old school, but of course you can use a whisk. Okay, this is where patience and your arm workout of the day begins. Now you want to stir this constantly for at least 15 minutes while it's simmering because you don't want any lumps to form. You want it to be silky and smooth. So do what you gotta do to make those 15 minutes go by. You could play some music and dance or listen to a podcast of choice. All right, about 15 minutes later, this is the consistency you want. You see how thick it is and it is coating the whisk beautifully. We are good to go. We're gonna let this cool. Okay, now that the pudding is done cooking, we're going to add a tablespoon of orange blossom water. You could add less or more, but the important part is to add it at the very end so that it doesn't lose its potency. This pudding is traditionally served with a thick sugar syrup on top. Now this is optional, but I'm keeping it traditional, so I'll show you how to do it right now. It's just a cup of sugar to a cup of water. Now, if you wanna use a sugar-free substitute, just make sure it's a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to sugar-free sweetener to make sure that you get the ratio correctly. You just wanna keep stirring it until the water boils, then reduce the heat and simmer for about 10 minutes. Unlike the pudding, you don't have to stir it constantly, but you should stir it occasionally and until it forms a nice syrup. Then add the juice of half a lemon to prevent crystallization and add flavor. To serve, I had chilled this mahalabiya for about an hour, and now I'm going to add the sugar syrup on top. This is where it gets fun. You could add all the garnishes, like a sprinkle of cinnamon, some crushed pistachios, pomegranate seeds, or this time of year, I really love to add dried cranberries to add a beautiful color and extra sweetness. about the 
channel, it's not just about recipes, it's about building traditions. So with every recipe, if you can create memories for your loved ones, that's what it's all about for me at least. Because when I eat this, I think of my Aunt Bahia. Do you remember me telling you stories about Aunt Bahia? Mm -hmm. So she was like 90, she lived to be in her 90s, and she would make us this pudding, and I'm like, you know what? Let's make it for you guys, and then you'll remember me when you get older, and then you can make it for your kids, and then, are you gonna make it for your kids one day? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, we're, the, the movie of choice today is Elf, mm -hmm. uh, and this is, the, you know, this is actually better than the theater, because in the theater you can't bring your own snacks. Well, I mean, you can. Like, who doesn't bring their own snacks? Yeah, right? well, especially Arabs, we bring our own snacks. But you can't bring this kind of snack. And my aunt brings, like, sandwiches and... <laughs> so you guys like this? Mm -hmm. Is this good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Okay, good. So, thank you for joining us on Feast in the Middle East. What are you guys doing to spend time with your family when everything is closed? Uh, we're just keeping warm and cozy here on the couch. Hey, this is the last recipe I have for you in 2020. Uh, let me know what kind of recipes or what kind of ideas you want me to pursue in 2021 on this channel. I am all ears about what you have. So leave them in the comments below of subjects that you'd like me to cover. And I can't thank you enough for all of your comments, your messages, your support this year. And I'm excited to see where we can evolve uh, in 2021. And I hope things just get better from here, right guys? Anyways, we're fine. yeah, we're, get, we're all gonna be fine. <laughs> Thank you, make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you in 2021. Let me know if you guys are doing anything exciting so I can live vicariously through you. <laughs> okay? Nice. <laughs> all right, bye guys. <laughs>